How to use Monday.com for task management. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's tutorial, we'll be exploring the popular task management tool Monday.com and providing you with a beginner's guide on how to use it effectively. Monday.com is a powerful project management and collaboration platform that helps teams streamline their work, manage tasks, and stay organized. Whether you're working on a personal project or collaborating with a team, Monday.com offers a range of features to enhance productivity and keep everyone on the same page. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the essential steps of using Monday.com. We'll start by giving you an overview of the platform and its key features. You'll learn how to use or how to create boards and customize them to match your workflow and invite team members to collaborate. We'll also guide you through the process of adding tasks, assigning due dates, setting priorities, and tracking progress using Monday.com's intuitive interface. You'll discover how to use different views such as Kanban or Gantt charts to visualize your project and effectively manage your task. So, let's begin. As you can see right now, I am currently in Monday.com. You can easily go to this page by simply typing Monday.com itself. As you can see here on your screen right now, this is their homepage. Now, as you can see here on this options over here, not only will you be able to use Monday.com for task management, you will be able to also use it to create creative and designs, for software development, for marketing, for project management, for sales and CRM, and even HR and operations over here. You can create more workflows by clicking this button over here also. Scrolling down, you will be able to see information about Monday.com if you would like to see how they work, what they do, and what you could do with Monday.com. But right now, we're going to teach you how you could use Monday.com. Now, the first thing we're going to do is, of course, create an account. We will be able to create an account by simply clicking on a specific option that we would like to use, which is task management for today's video and simply click on get started and now over here we will be redirected to this page where you will be able to sign up into monday.com the first thing you're going to do is of course enter your email over here or you can simply click on continue with google after entering your email you can simply click on continue now for me i simply use my google account to create an account so right now we are in this section it's going to ask us what brings us here today it's going to ask us whether we're going to use Monday.com for work, personal, school, or nonprofits over here. You can simply choose the corresponding option that applies to your situation. For now, we're going to go with nonprofit. And then you're going to answer which role describes you the best. You could choose from board member, executive, employee, volunteer, IT staff, and others over here. You can simply choose once again the thing or the option that applies to you the best. For now, we're going to go with maybe an IT staff. Click on continue. And now it's going to ask us how many are on our team. We're going to give it a random number for now. How many people are working at our company? Same thing, random number. Click on continue. And now in this section, it's going to ask us what we would like to focus on. We have grant management, fundraising CRM, project management, event management, volunteers, and registration management. You can simply choose whatever option applies to you the best. For us, taking into account that we're going to be talking about task management, most likely we're going to be focusing on project management and assigning different tasks to our different members to accomplish certain things on our task or project. Click on continue. And now we're here, what do we need help in? For now, we're going to click on continue. We're not going to answer that. And for the last question, it's going to ask us, where did we hear about Monday.com? If you would like to answer this, you can simply answer. This is more on their survey on how they are reaching different people. So for now, we're going to ignore this. Click on continue once again. And we will be redirected to this section over here. And now in this section, this is where you will be able to invite your different teammates to work on your project that we will be creating right now. You can simply enter their email over here choose their roles in this section or choose their roles in this section as an admin or a member depending on what you would like this team member to have access to 
you could add more over here by simply clicking this you could add four or more in the section but for now we're going to click on remind me later because in reality i don't have a team we're doing this for the tutorial now as you can see here the first thing you're going to do next is add a name to your board for our board we're going to go with board testing for now you can simply type whatever you would like as your title depending on the project or whatever you're working on click on next over here select one of the items you would like to manage for us we're going to focus on task you could also do projects or custom over here go on next and now over here you could choose what we would like to view we could view it as a, a table a card as you can see here it's going to change accordingly a timeline a kanban calendar or a gantt over here depending on how you would like or how effective you are in this different layouts you should choose the layouts that you work best with the layout that you are more familiar with so that you will be able to work more efficiently without any hassle or any additional time being wasted on learning the different layouts so simply focus on the layout that you know and simply use that so that you wouldn't be spending more time learning the other things so we're going to go with a simple one the table one the most basic click on next and now you're going to start listing your task here for our first task prepare project just like that we're going to give it random task for now second task we're going to have brainstorm ideas just like that and third task we're going to add implement of ideas just like that click on next as you can see here also it's going to show you what it would look like right now we're here for our time frame we could have this week next week or maybe even have we could change this to this month just like that depending on what you would like this is simply group task for better organization for our work uh we could have this as as you can see here, you could have tasks that are going to be needed to be done this week or this month over here. You could change this to whatever name you would like. This is more for on organization of your work. Click on get started. And now finally, we can explore our dashboard for our monday.com board. As you can see here, this is what we have set up earlier. These are the different tasks that we have created. And this is the group task that we have over here. You could add another group by clicking on add new group over here. Maybe you would like your new group to be for next month. Like your goals or your different tasks that is going to be done next month. Or task for your project that will take two months at least for production. As you can see, you could add here. For example, you could have ui design for your application just like that this is until next month and you can see we have our task over here it is very easy to add a task you simply choose the group section that you would like to add and click on add task over here and you will be able to add the task just like what we did earlier you will be able to edit the information or the title by simply clicking on it just like that and you could change it the way you want to you could also see that you have this comments over here or a conversation that you could have with your person that you have attached this or assigned it to this would be like a private conversation with them like an update activity log and files over here you will be able to see all of this different information with the specific person you have assigned it to you could assign people to a specific task by clicking this button over here you could add them over here your members or you could invite new members by email over here but this is where you will be able to see your different members you could assign yourself also for that specific task as you can see here you have your dates over here and this is the status also you are working on it done and stuck over here you could change all the different labels over here you could change the information you could change what's done and all labels over here you could see what is being shown just like this and you could also see the dates you could add more column by clicking this you could see the status people date timeline numbers text and other useful columns that you could add in this section for example a dependency just like that you will be able to add them over here depending on what you would like to see depending on what you would like to to have on your board you can simply add them over here just like this you could have numbers or whatever you would like to have and then you can simply type it in over here and you can do the same thing for this week this month and next month it's all the same process depending on what you could need 
You can also create new tasks in this area over here. You could import task or new group of tasks over here. You could search. You could also filter by person. Change the filter off to different things over here. Change the sorting section over here. You could hide columns in this section if you would like. And you could also pin columns that you would like. Item height, conditional coloring, and item default values over here. You could edit things from your table over here. Now, if you would like to add another view or another table, you could click on this button over here to add view. You could add dashboard, carts, charts, Kanban, Gantz, cards, form, file galleries. If you would like to see the different tables that you could have for your task list as well. If you would like to have a main table and a Gantz view over here. You could delete a view by clicking on the three dots and clicking on the delete section over here. And by clicking this, you will be able to remove that specific board. And now over here also on the left side, you will be able to see notification, inbox, my work, favorites, invite members, and search everything in this section. You could also add more items to your workspace by clicking this. You could add board, doc, dashboard, templates, import data over here from all of this platforms that we have over here you could add apps and create a new form or create a new folder depending on what you would like to do you could also have automation check out the different activities click on the three dots you will be able to see settings or different information about your board settings for your board and that's it guys that's how you can use monday.com for task management hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching